in what looks like the most comprehensive technology intervention ever. 30 companies from around the world have formed a consortium to make sure that South Africa can mine its gold at depth. And we say depth, we mean five kilometers underground. Leading the show to possibly come out with automated, explosionless, continuous mining, we're talking rock around the clock, is Anglo Gold Ashanti. Anglo Gold Ashanti is Mike McFarlane. When we look at the continuous operations and things like mechanical cutting, the technology in the last 20 years has advanced significantly. There's certainly tunnel boring and mechanical cutting that are far exceeding our single-headed advancing in, in traditional blasting and batch operations. The second one is the notion of mechanical cutting in the, in the reef. Um, you know, the reef, is, the reef packages are, are probably less than a, a meter and down to probably 15 or 20 centimeters. You know, there's no doubt that there's technology out there today. It, it, you know, what we need to do is creatively put it together. How we move men and material around, we're still doing it the way we, we did it probably 40 years ago. And technology out there in different industries has advanced significantly. Within a five-year time span, the era in our, in our deep um, underground mining, the era of blasting is, is, is over. Breaking the paradigm so that you you're actually can create a business where your mining continuous without blasting will be you know, quite a significant step. The reason for the ultra deep mining is that Anglo Gold Ashanti has 100 million ounces of gold resource locked up that cannot be mined conventionally and innovation has to enter the fray. Anglo Gold Ashanti South Africa head Robbie Lazar. We're actually looking at total different ways of mining at depth. Continuous mining without the rock actually noticing that we're mining. So as soon as we take out the reef, we actually put it with a competent support backfill into that cavity that we've created and mine on continuously 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. We're only working in the South African context 270 days a year mining while we're competing with our international competitive companies who are mining 365 days a year. And that is why we've put a global consortium with global companies like 3Ms, the General Electrics, uh, the DuPonts, some of the mining suppliers, some of the universities, global universities together and there's more than 30 companies being together, 80 people being involved at this stage from across the globe in terms of creating innovative ideas in terms of how deep level mining, hard rock mining is going to take place into the future. The reward if you, if you look at the number of hours in a year that we're actually mining and you go to a continuous operation, the, the revenue would, would dwarf the capital investment required. Five years is a long time to wait, but there will be quick wins along the way, which dovetail with the overall vision. Anglo Gold Ashanti's Mike O'Hare. The role of the operations in supporting this vision is uh, twofold. The operations need to be stable and they need to be safe. So the operations need to implement Anglo Gold's vision, our one vision, which allows us to get a 70% improvement in safety and a significant improvement in productivity and stabilize our operations in order to be able to underpin the visions. While we are stabilizing our operations, we are implementing quick wins which give us a safety benefit and give us a productivity benefit and link to the longer term vision. In other words, the technologies we are implementing over the next couple of years become stepping stone technologies. Working with 30 different companies scattered around the world is no mean task. But what has been set up is a veritable Facebook of mind design, a platform that everybody can access. Anglo Gold Ashanti, Sean Newbury. We've created a virtual workspace um, through a technology identified and proudly homegrown in South Africa to bring everything together in an environment where you could see all the work taking place with these teams across time zones and multi-interests around the world could really get together and work. South Africa could be on the cusp of the biggest mining breakthrough in a hundred years and we'll be hearing more about it in February.